It's 5 o'clock this Friday afternoon. I hope you're enjoying it, because up next we have a brand new live TV show. Enjoy. Welcome to This Is Brave, my name is Karen Jarvis. On today's show we have many segments you're going to love. You can join us from 4pm to 5pm every Friday without a stop. Thank you for joining. Order! Order in the courts, Mr. Sankey. Do you have anyone representing yourself? I am representing myself, Your Honour. What does it feel like to be a failure again? Well, corroboration. Do you have any evidence that Mr. Psyche has committed any crimes? Your Honour, he literally killed 269. Even that number is cream. Literally, it is a biological weapon. Just in visual form. Thank you. The evidence I have submitted into this courtroom today might be substantial to my case. I did not kill a single person. So they just they just went into a deep sleep then, yeah? Is that what you're exactly. saying? Exactly. So then stop and breathe and their heart stop and their body slowly decomposing is them just taking a deep sleep, yeah? Yes, Your Honour. Okay. Mm. Someone needs to watch some YouTube videos on health, don't they? I think you should play the clip. Oh, to get this footage into evidence, 300 people died. We went through that many court staff to get this in. So, these glasses work for some people, but they are not 100% safe. So there is a chance that people in this courtroom may die themselves. But watch at your own risk, Your Honour. I put your glass on if you want to survive. Play the video. And I rest my face. He is sleeping. He's not breathing. It's Thank only you. when you breathe. Thank you. So just died on the floor. The quarry floor. He is sleeping, Your Honour. But he's not breathing. He does look quite tired to me. But how can he look tired when he's not breathing? I'll watch the video with my own eyes. Alright, go on then. Okay. Wake up, man. Alright, you do much, he's dead. No, I can't hurt myself. Go on then. Watch him, he's gonna die, and you're gonna have this on your conscience. Wow, that is cringe. And now he's dead. If he he's not dead, also sleeping. If he's not dead, he's got brain damage from that force of impact. Hi, I'm Liam, and I'm here to promote positive mental health with you today. I went round a few people asking how they help with positive mental health and first up is Mike. Hi, my name is Mike, I work at East Coast College and I'm a SEN support worker. Do you think that having healthy family relationships helps promote positive mental health? Absolutely, yes I do, 100%. I think uh, we are all a product of our environment and therefore if you come from a disruptive environment, a violent environment or an abusive environment a strong chance you'll become a disrupted person or an abusive person possibly. Why do you feel this? Just through observations, through life, um, my own upbringing, um, my own parents, uh, kind of background I come from, just personal experience. Having healthy family relationships is one way to keep yourself motivated, but also having a regular sleeping pattern and also setting goals for yourself is a good way to keep your positive thinking. Now, I'm going to cut you over to Brendan, which will tell you more on this subject. Hi, I'm Brendan Pettit. I am a course leader for Creative Media at Level 1, Level 2 and Level 3 at East Coast College. Do you believe that setting goals to keep yourself motivated can encourage positive mental health? It's a very good question. I, I do strongly believe that, that setting goals do, does encourage um, and, and support positive 
mental health could be giving yourself something to work towards, whether that is something which is relating to work or your, your career, um, or whether it's something which is personal and it's looking at creating some fitness, going for a walk, um, if you are trying to um, obtain that goal, that's going to give you that, that drive to get up and get out of bed and to engage with that and, and to then push yourself further. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about Free Dads Walk In, which is a charity funded by free dads who walked across the country to raise suicide and awareness due to losing their daughters to suicide. Now, they have raised £1 million while walking 600 miles across the entirety of the UK. They've walked between four different parliaments and they have been honoured in the Pride of Britain Awards. Now, these three men are Mr. Airy of the Cumbria, Mr. Palmer of Manchester and Mr. Owen of Norfolk and their daughters were Sophie, Beth and Emily. Now, if you're feeling like any of these symptoms which were from these three people, then it's important that there's always help. You've got the Samaritans, which can be founded at 33 009 and there's also mine at 33 Now, it's important that you're never alone and you can don't suffer in silence. Just keep trying, it's all you can do. Thank you. Welcome to Scare Factor, a game where people compete to answer questions. Today I have... I'm Shelley and I'm a student from East Coast College. And for you? My name's Kieran and I like pound shop. Okay. Every, point you, every question you get right in this round gives you two points. Okay. Where is Transylvania? In Kieran. the world! Wrong. Uh, Romania and my bus is broken. Okay. It's fixed. <laughs> Two points for Brandon. Right, what is a group of witches called? A flock. Wrong. For you? A coven. You're both wrong. It is a coven. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is why my dad left me. <laughs> okay, the dancing clown Pennywise came from what book? It's. Brandon. It is correct. Right. Wednesday, Morticia, Gomez and Pugsley are part of what family? Kieran. The Adams family. The Adams family is correct. Right. Who are you going to call? Brian? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, correct. Right. Well, okay, so that's the end of that round. So we've got six points on Brandon and two points on Kieran. Right, everything you get right in this round gives you three points. Right. What is the best selling horror movie? It. It is correct. Right. What is Dr. Frankenstein's first name? Kieran. No, it, it's Victor. Not yes, Kieran. yes, yes, it's Victor. Yes. Kieran's correct. Yes. Right, for a very short round, but we've now rented that. We've now got Kieran on five, and we've now got. Brandon on nine. My mum's going to be proud of this. I bet she will. I hope. Everything you get correct gets you four points this round. Right. Which classical horror film stars a serial killer dressed as William Shatner? Brandon. Um, Halloween. Halloween is correct. Right. What is the actual name of Chucky? Gary. Come on, you've got your Yes. That is wrong. Damn! Uh, Harry. It's Charles Lee Ray. <sighs> I was right. close. What colours are Freddy Krueger's jumper? Multicoloured because he accepts everyone. Can't accept. Damn! Um, Red and green. Red and green is correct. How many Halloween movies are there? Zero. 14. No, wrong. 13. 13 is correct. So close, but yet so far. Right, we're now finishing up. Right, we've now got Kieran on five points and Brandon on <laughs> 21 points. Right, you have a chance to steal now. Good. 20 point question, or you have a chance to definitely win. Are you ready? Yes. You ready for this? Yes. Is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Brandon. Fruit. 
And that my project is Brandon work. winning the entire game yeah, on 41 points. Your mom is going to be disappointed. I'm, I'm going interested. in care. Shush. I'm interested in how many you got at home. If you can tweet hashtag this is brave, we're going to look at every single one of yours. Thank you for watching. You can join us back here at the exact same time, which will be 4 o'clock until 5 o'clock each Friday. Thank you for watching.